Hello everyone, this is John the Repentless with another episode of It's My Channel and I'll wind up and want to. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, that's because I've been working a lot more than I used to. I mean, the last like three or four weeks I've been to Boise, Twin Falls, um, Idaho Falls a couple of times, Og um, Ogden, Logan, um, Jackson, Wyoming, and Afton, Wyoming. I had days like, not yesterday, not today, but a week ago <clears throat> today. Um, we went to Jackson to count the Kmart there. And we were, I, well, we left here at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I didn't get home until like 10 o'clock that night. So 19 hours we were gone. Um, Good thing is that the the manager of the the Kmart um, fed us. I think he, he bought like forty Little Caesars pizzas and fed us, which is nice. He always does that. Um, the last few times we I've gone to it, anyways. I don't think I went to it last year, but the time before that that I've gone to Jackson and do this this Kmart, um, they fed us. But yeah, on the way back, we got to about Swan Valley. If, if you know the area and you're driving from Pocatello to or Idaho Falls to Jackson, Wyoming, you have to go through Swan Valley. A little before we, about an hour or so before we were going through there, they had, there was an accident where a 50-year-old man from Swan Valley, um, I can't remember his name right now, but um, he somehow went into the other lane and ran into a an RV, one of those big RVs, um, towing a trailer. And I seen a picture of his truck. Um, and it was like mangled, severely mangled. It was, and, it, you know, it's not surprising he lost his life because of the accident there. But anyways, so we had to go back to Driggs and go the long way around to... Um, get to Idaho Falls and then to Pocatello because, like I said, it, the road was closed down. It's the, well, the one lane was closed down. And by the time we got there, it had been like two or three hours that the, clo the road had been closed. And it was not too long after we went back and, and did all that that they opened the road up. <clears throat> but by that time, we were well on our way back to Idaho Falls. Um, you know, I think it was like a few days before that was when I went to, um, no, that was the last pay period that I went to Meridian. But, you know, again, it was one of those days where we left really early in the morning, like three or four in the morning, and we didn't get back till late that night. Um, the Walmart, we were helping the Walmart crew and the Boise District. Um, to do the, the Walmart, and like I said, it, took, it was a long day, but so I, I've had, well, I had a good paycheck this last time, and I have a good, another good one in a week, week from now, but anyways, tonight, um, I started a new job with Varsity, um, over at Pokey High, doing, helping them clean the the school after, you know, school this out and all that stuff. I, um, my main job is I'm going through all the classrooms and I'm emptying the garbage and, you know, I'm doing other things like, you know, dust mopping the the main floor on uh, of the high school and doing a little mopping on the, the stairs because the machines that they use to clean the um, floors won't get up the stairs. And so like I said, I haven't had time, really. And when I have had time, I've been too tired because I've been working so a lot more than, I, like I said, I was. Um, but all, all this means is that, you know, right now I'm getting regular paychecks and, you know, and I think that this varsity job is going to work out for me because Pokey High School is only like five blocks from where I live. So, it, you know, there's no transportation problem. I can walk 
that far, and I can walk back home at the end of the day. I'm only working like four hours right now, but that's kind of a good thing, you know. And I'll still work for Regis, and I'll still do the the whole vlog on, um, you know, life of an inventory auditor, because like I said, I'm still interested in the entire subject of inventory. Um, you know, I, I know I'm a niche, niche, niche. Anyways, personality because I'm not a, I'm not somebody who can easily like do characters. Sometimes I can do a rant, especially if a story really pisses me off. I can rant a little bit about it. But for the most part, I try to be calm and I try to, you know, kind of boring. I know, but maybe some people will like this, and eventually I will get some kind of following. At least I hope I will. Um, and can supplement my income a little with this, but I'll, I'll be surprised if I make any money at this for quite a while. Um, but like I said, I wanted to make this this video, you know, let everybody know that I'm not dead, that I'm still going to be making videos. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm just going to have to work on time management when I'm not working and so I can get to start making videos on a regular basis. If people are interested in, you know, it's going to take a while for any interest to, to really build. And there's a lot of ideals I have. <coughs> Excuse me again. But there's a lot of ideals I have. I mean, talking about religion, because I'm an atheist. Um, you know, I guess I, I think I mentioned it before in my, uh, another video of mine, doing something where it's not really a, a Bible study, but more more or less like questions I have about the plot lines and so forth. Um, sincere questions that I have about the Bible. Now, I used to believe in the Bible because, well, I was raised Christian, like a lot of people in America. But now I'm an atheist, and a lot of the stories in the Bible have what, if, if you were talking about a fictional book, and I think it's a fictional book. Okay, not well, not fictional as such, but it is the, I wouldn't say myth. It is the idealized history of ancient Israel, not actual history, but an idealized history. The history that the Israelites wanted to have. Um, even though some of the people may have existed, a lot of things they exaggerated, for example, like, um, you know, David, Saul, and all those people. Um, they exaggerated because they were the victors, victors in their wars. And the victors write the history. So, Instead of being put out, out, out on the lies, they, like I said, it's an idealized history. Not an accurate history, not a genuine history, but the sort of a political history. And a lot of the stuff in the Bible is just outright wrong. Um, it doesn't line up with reality, and you have to twist scientific fact in order to try to make what the Bible says, especially when it comes to creation, with the emphasis of creation of the earth. I don't believe that there is a creator um, when naturalistic, scientific hypothesis and theories make a lot more sense than a, an extra-dimensional being that created everything. Um, that's about all I have right now. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you would, give this uh, video a thumbs up. Um, if you would be interested in more Repentless content, subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And like I said, subscribe for more Repentless content. content. This is Donald the Repentless, signing off. 
Have a great night, everyone.